it's time to take this test tank down and get it inside and get something living in it for a change. Before I do, I wanted to demonstrate how a one inch Durso overflow cannot handle 600 gallons an hour, not without overflowing your tank. Uh, I did this a few weeks ago and I think it's kind of interesting in a way. The limits of these. So that's my one inch thin wall overflow. I've got two one inch overflows. Uh, I showed it in another video. There's the other one. That's a schedule 40 PVC though. Uh, much thicker wall. And the thinner wall one does flow significantly more. Right now I've got it running nice and happy <clears throat> at 430 gallons an hour with the rearmost pump. That one pumps 430. Front one is my 1990 power head, which I measured flowing 170. Both of that, <clears throat> both of those measured over the rim of the tank. So it's running real happy at 430 gallons an hour. I've got an adjustable weir that I've got set kind of high. <clears throat> Just because I like my water to run right at that edge, so that'll how I'll, that's how I'll be running it. And the sump is, you know, as full as you'd expect it to be. The reason I have <clears throat> three jugs of water, each one holds a couple gallons, is I'm going to have to pour all three of those jugs into that sump when I plug that other pump in and that won't be enough even then it'll cavitate uh, after pouring three jugs and it'll probably start overflowing the rim of the top tank <laughs> but we'll see <clears throat> so I'm going to pause this and uh, actually what I'm going to do is pause this I'm going to set the weir to the lowest level and then uh, plug the other pump in and have at it hang on so I slid the adjustment ring on the weir all the way down and the, the water level is slowly starting to drop and it's not dropping very fast either because that, uh, that one inch overflow is almost maxed out already. But you can see how the uh, sump is filling up and I'm going to pause this again and stick the camera on the tripod then plug the pump in and start pouring water to it see what happens hang on okay here we go I'm gonna plug the other pump in and then pour water to it I'm gonna have to walk in front of this <laughs> this phone Sorry about that. Very professional photography. So, <clears throat> right now it's pumping about 600 gallons an hour with both pumps running. And once the uh, water level in the sump drops down to about there, it'll start dropping faster. <clears throat> because now it's just pumping up the volume of that last chamber plus whatever's still spilling over uh, in that bubble trap but anyway it's going to cavitate in a minute when it does I'll pour the first two gallon jug in and see what happens Too close. <laughs> Watch it make a liar out of me. Watch this damn thing flow. Uh, 600 gallons an hour, no problem. Make me a liar. <clears throat> okay, here we go. All 
right? Give it two gallons. Ugh, I'm gonna have to reposition this. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. So there's two more gallons that it took. It's pumping that up top, starting slowly at first and going faster just like before. <clears throat> Excuse me. When it cavitates again, I'll grab the tripod and pick it up and we'll see how deep the water is in the top tank. I would call the display tank, but the only thing this thing is displaying is bubbles. Pretty exciting video, huh? It would be exciting if I was doing this inside the house and I let it overflow on the floor. And then explain to my family that I was just apping around. <laughs> I should. Make them appreciate it when I'm not effing around. <clears throat> okay, it's about to cavitate again. And I'm going to pick you up and show, we'll take a look, see at the top, see how deep it's getting. Got to keep in mind, I've only poured two extra gallons in here. Okay. Those things might get shaky here. Hang on. Right now, the water is just kissing the bottom of that lip. Right? So, how far do we have before it spills over into the room? Ooh, about half inch, five eighths of an inch maybe. Okay, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna get shaky again. Because we are going to pour. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two more gallons in. I love dumping water to it like that. It makes the top just pumps out the bubbles. <clears throat> Not so much big ones, but the little guys. The pumps shatter the big ones into a billion little bubbles. And this might take a little longer uh, to pump up top. If it takes too ridiculously long, I'll pause this thing. Which I should do anyway. Got a filter fuzzy wuzzy floating around. Which is kind of cool. You can see the counterclockwise rotation of the water in that chamber. Which will be the refugium if this thing ends up a saltwater tank, or it'll be the lava rock chamber if a freshwater tank. Yeah, this one's this last two gallons has taken a little while to pump up top, but it is. I may pause this. I may not. Yeah. Let's wait just a minute. Because <clears throat> I'm getting pretty close to where I want to shut the pumps down and let it drain back down. It's getting pretty full up there. 
Yeah, we'll let it cavitate. We'll let it suck air. I don't like my videos, do they suck a lot of air? <laughs> yeah, well, at least I'm using a tripod this time. With my pocket typewriter, my smartphone uh, rubber banded on. For a while out in Seattle, a lot of people were into the lo-fi audio uh, thing. What do I call this? Low vid? Low C? Low qua? <laughs> low quality. That's what, yeah, we'll go with that. Low qua. Monsieur, low qua? Le lo qua? Wee oui, wee, oui. la la Okay, this thing's about ready to cavitate. Oh shit. Look. I'm telling you, man. Looky, looky, looky. The water is right to the very top. And we're going to shut down the pump right now. there. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Now that one's going to probably overflow because of my little experiment. If it does, though, I'll shut the valve off and we'll be good. This phone's tilting. Tilty. Dr. Tilty. Oh yeah, that tank's going to drain down quite a bit more than that. Don't want to run this experiment and leave home. There. So, what have I done? Am I zoomed in? Yes. What, do I, what have I done? I have proven, without a doubt, that a one inch diameter thin wall Durso overflow cannot handle 600 gallons an hour. Just can't do it. Can't do it. That's why I will be using my one and a quarter inch overflow, which uh, can handle 600 gallons an hour just dandy because this is from a previous experiment, right? If I can get it on there. Maybe not. Jesus. With my one and a quarter inch overflow going from 430 gallons an hour to 600 gallons an hour, it does mean the level starts climbing. Uh, but it runs right where I want it with that overflow. Anyway, thank you. Thanks for watching.